All right, guys, so I finally figured out how to save materials that I make inside of Octane and Blender so you don't have to remake them. If you did not know, Octane does have its own database of materials, but for some reason, they just don't work properly. If you click this tab here, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're gonna see this tab here, Open Octane Database. I have a quick key, I saved it to quick keys. You pop it open, boom. And you've got this live editor with all these materials, right? I haven't got figured out how to get these materials to work. Some work, some don't, you know, they're, they're missing images and the files are all over the place, but I'll, I'll have to figure that out later, okay? But I have a local database, which I've built here, my materials, and I've saved them into this so I don't have to rebuild them all the time. For example, if I grab this metal here, right click, import, make sure you have the thing that you want it on, select it. It's going to take a few seconds. Okay, boom, you see the node over here pops up. Let me jump into the node graph. Here is my node setup here. And what I'm gonna do is press S, X, scale it on the X, S, Z, kind of scale it down a little bit. You know, you can kind of basically come through here and unfix these here. I'm gonna go scale Z. Basically, here is my whole node setup. You can organize it whatever you need to do later. And if I come in here and fire up the render, boom, there it is. There is the whole thing that I built out. All the nodes are connected and it's ready to go and ready to reuse. All I would need to do is just rescale some of these images here, you know, values with some of these scale nodes to get them to get it to match up like here, rescale these up here. But I don't have to rebuild this whole node setup, which is the most important thing, which saves me a lot of time from having to reconstruct this whole thing again, which took a quite a while, you know, trying to get these things. So now all I have to do is just dial in the right values, which is a lot quicker, right? How do we go about saving something like this and having your own basically material library? The first thing first you wanna do, make you a folder, save a folder with your assets. So what I've done is I made a folder and I called it Blender Assets. And um, let's go ahead, I'll make one with you guys really quickly here. I'm gonna make a new material. And what I'm gonna do is just change the color on it so it's something noticeable. Let's go yellow. I'm gonna call this test. Then what I'm gonna do is save this file in my asset folder where I keep all of my Blender Octane stuff. And I'm gonna call it the name of the material that I wanna do, test. Okay, boom, there it is. It's saved in my asset folder. From here, what you wanna make sure you do for the first time, you need to set up your in Octane and tell Octane where these materials are. I'm gonna go to to my tab and I'm gonna go Oct, O-C-T, there's Octane. You're gonna come in here, local Octane local database path. You're gonna choose where your asset folder is. Here's my Blender asset folder. This is where I'm saving all my assets. So boom, tell, Bl tell Blender Octane where that's at, save it. Now that I'm on the material, I wanna save this material. Well, how do we do that? There's no save button. There is, it's just kind of in a weird place. If you click on the material, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the material hit settings here you have save as octane db right i'm going to go ahead and click on that this little window is going to pop up if you don't see anything popping up make sure you check down here on the bottom boom there it is here it is store items first thing you have location i want to save it into my local database categories i have a category here we're going to go here's my local database uh, I'll show you how to make the subfolders here in a minute. But for, my, for right now, I'm just going to throw it in the local database. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. And if you want to give it a description, OK, you can do that. Then you want to click Render Thumbnail. Click on this, and it's going to make a render of the thumbnail. You can choose a couple of little presets if you want to go like that, a 2D version. Uh, you can do 2D if there was alpha involved. Uh, it will show up there. Or you can do a sphere, or you can do a close-up on the sphere, right? I'm just going to keep it local. And there's a couple of other things. Use a custom object size, all that other jibber jabber. I'm gonna hit OK. There it is. Everything's ready, hit OK. Now it's going to store this in my local database. Again, how do I bring up my local database? You go over here down to the bottom. You can click on Open Octane Database, or I made a quick uh, quick button. I just right click and said uh, Save to Quick Favorites. So now I just press Q, Open Database, Again, you might not see anything. Where is it at? Look at the bottom down here. There it is. It pops up. Here it is. Here's my local database. Tap that down. And here is test. Now, to get these subfolders, all you have to do is inside your Octane database, right click, go add new category. And then I can come in here, test. Boom, it makes a new category. 
Well, you can't just simply drag and drop this in here. You need to basically have the category first and then save the material. So we can redo that. Let's just come back here. I'm gonna go right click again, down here on the bottom on the material, save as material, octane material. Wait for it to pop up. There it is. It's not gonna pop up. You have to make sure you go down here and click on it. Okay, save to local database, browse, and there's my new folder, test. Click on that, and then I'm gonna come in here, call it again, test. Oh, and I forgot to do the render that time. I hit it too fast. I forgot to render out the preview. And then if we come back here to my test folder, yeah, it's not gonna do it this time because I forgot to save it. Let's go ahead and try one more time. Save Octane, there we go. Local database, select my category, test, okay. Render, set your render, hit okay, and then hit okay. Now let's bring back our database here and it's not showing up. So sometimes you might need to restart the database or sometimes I even had like where I made materials and they're not showing up and not until I literally closed out the actual render, like literally shut down the render engine and reset everything up and then it'll kind of pop back in. So let's see if we can get it to pop back in right now. I'm gonna go open database. Okay, boom, there it is. Now see how it popped in. Now in the folder, we have the two that we made and then even the one, if you didn't put a preview, you get this little asterisk here. That means there's it's missing in preview. So that's how you do that. If you wanted to delete it, just click on the material, hit delete, boom, there it is. And then you click on this material, make thumbnail, boom, you can come back in here, make a thumbnail, hit okay. And it's gonna basically re-update it with the thumbnail. Then I had to go back to Q, open database. Okay, see now it, it, it's wigging out. It's totally freaking out. Again, you know, this is Blender Octane. It's buggy, it's super buggy. Yeah, see error in my render server. So obviously the render server shut down. There's no render server. So again, you just need to go back, fire up your Octane server. All right, restart, restart at my server. Make sure it's active. It is activated. And then let's go back and open it. I press Q, open database. Here it is down at the bottom, it's flashing. Jump in, test, there it is. Bada bing, bada boom. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one here that gave us a problem anyways. Delete that, boom, and there it is. I have my materials. So that is how you build your own database of materials, which I suggest you do because it's so much quicker. One thing, make sure you do not move any of your files that are in that asset, uh, in, inside that asset folder. If you move them to a different location, you may break the link that's connected with these. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna get back to making some more tutorials probably in next month, August, because I'm doing this monthly tutorial, this 30 day modeling challenge. And I'm learning a lot about Octane because I'm in it every single day. I'm learning a lot about making materials. I'm gonna share all this knowledge that I'm gathering from these 30 day materials, this 30 day modeling channels, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. So hope you guys enjoy, smash that like button and continually rendering. That's the only way you'll get better. Peace.